G'day everyone, welcome to Inside Rugby with Mark. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mark. I'm a retired Kiwi bloke. I'm a huge rugby fan and I'm living here in beautiful Cancun in Mexico. Welcome to today's show. Welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here. I took a few days off to re-energize myself and get myself ready for the Autumn International Series. I've got 22 games coming up in the next couple of weeks to do previews and reviews here on Inside Rugby with Mark. So if that's something that you're excited about, why not hit the subscribe button and stick around with me? Now, one of the things that I was mentioning in previous videos that I thought was gonna be important throughout the Autumn International Series was going to be injuries. Yes, we've got a lot of the Southern Hemisphere teams that have got back-to-back -back games, and it's gonna take a toll on their squad. So I think selection is going to be very, very important for each of these games. Now, before the All Blacks have even left New Zealand, they've got a bit of a crisis going on in the loose forwards, and that's what I'm talking about in this video. So in the last days, we've seen reports out of New Zealand with Ethan Blackadder having an injury. Dalton Papalihi having an injury and Luke Jacobson having an injury as well. So that doesn't bode well for the start of the tour for New Zealand when they head off to Japan. Now what's actually happened to those players? Well of course they've been playing NPC rugby in New Zealand so they've opened themselves up of course to getting some injuries and in Ethan Black Adder's case it's a calf injury so not good news for him. And then Luke Jacobson, well, he's broken his thumb, so he's not going to be any good for a while. And the last one, Dalton Papalihi, he has a muscle problem on his upper thigh. So obviously some of those injuries are going to be renewed pretty quickly, and we'll see those players back, but it is going to put some pressure on Scott Robertson as he looks forward to his selection, particularly against Japan. Now, of course, those injuries are going to respectively take different times to mend. So it's going to be interesting to see when Scott Robertson is going to have those players available again. But this shows a bit of a crisis for the New Zealand loose forward trio at the moment. Because to have those three guys out at the same time is probably, what, one in a million type chance of happening. But it has happened. So we're going to be talking about depth and coverage probably as we go through this particular All Black Tour of the Northern Hemisphere. Now some interesting news out of New Zealand that Scott Robertson has apparently been trying to get Hoskins Satutu included in this All Black squad now. Interesting what a little bit of an injury crisis does to the coach's brain on this occasion perhaps. But if you remember the story, Hoskins Satutu was told to go away and improve parts of his game where he wasn't seen to be as good off the ball and on the board as some of the other loose forwards in New Zealand rugby. Hence his omission from the All Blacks team in past. But now that Robertson has got a little bit of a crisis on his hands with three flankers out at the moment, he's looking at Hoskins Satutu as a, pro as a possible replacement to come in. One problem is Hoskins Satutu appears not to be too interested. There are words around though that he is injured, so that might be a reason. But he's been playing NPC rugby, so I'm not too sure what that injury is all about. So an interesting development around Hoskins Satutu and the New Zealand All Blacks head coach, Scott Robertson. There is talk that Robertson is trying to get him on the team to travel north with the New Zealand All Blacks. As a result of these injuries, Scott Robertson has decided to bring in Peter Larkai and Josh Lord into the squad to cover immediately for those three players. Interesting one finally to see Peter Larkine, if you like me, which a lot of you are, you've been naming him in your team so far this year to get a run on opportunity for the All Blacks. Let's hope that this is the opportunity that we've been looking for for Peter Larkine. It'll be interesting to see how long these injuries take to both Blackadder, Dalton Papalihi and Luke Jacobson. And I'll keep you up to date with their progress right here on Inside Rugby. But for now, we're going to see Josh Lord and we're going to see Peter Larkai in the squad for the New Zealand All Blacks. This is an interesting development with Hoskins Satutu coming back into the conversation again. There has been a lot of talk around the possibility that he might be interested in joining either England or Fiji and trying to pursue his international career with either of those two teams. The thing is, he is contracted to New Zealand Rugby until 2026, so we'll have to keep our finger on the pulse 
and see what happens with Hoskins Satutu. Do you think he'll end up being part of this All Black squad heading to the Northern Hemisphere on this particular tour? Let me know in the comments whether or not you think that's going to happen and whether or not you, you are a Hoskins Satutu fan. I'd like to see how many people are out there support him on getting this potential opportunity with the New Zealand All Blacks again. So there we go, some quick news out of New Zealand. Three of the New Zealand loose forwards are currently injured, making Scott Robertson pivot a little bit and look for some cover as the team gets ready to head off to Japan to play their first game of the Northern Tour next weekend in Tokyo. As I said, I'll be following all of those games of the All Blacks and all of the Northern Tour games this year here on Inside Rugby with Mark. So why don't you stick around, hit the subscribe button, join in the comments, and see if you can support me any of these ways here on my channel as I move forward. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'll be back tomorrow when I'm going to be looking at the battle of the number 10s in this year's Autumn International Series. So make sure you come back for that one. Some good discussion around what number 10s I think are going to be playing for the respective teams and who leads the battle in terms of who is the best number 10 in the world at the moment in my eyes. Come back tomorrow for that particular video. Until then, it's time to say adios from beautiful Cancun in Mexico. You stay well, stay safe, keep enjoying your rugby all across the world, and I'll see you again very soon in the next episode. Until then, it's bye for now.